So I think we've pretty much covered the basics when it comes to 3D printing. Now you should know what 3D printing is and how the technology works. You should also know how slicing software works, how to print and remove objects from a 3D printer, and how to pretty much tra troubleshoot all the basic printer issues that you might run into. And finally, we've just had a look at how you can maintain your printer for lasting results. Now I really hope that you've gotten some good information out of these workshops because I've had a ton of fun producing them. We haven't finished yet though, let's talk about where we can go from here. See, after you get good at ABS and PLA printing, you'll eventually start gravitating towards the specialty filaments. Now each filament that you pick up is gonna have its own peculiarities, but you're now armed with a bunch of troubleshooting steps and they should help you have no issues getting through those filaments. Now once you become proficient in all those different filaments, I'd imagine that dual extrusion and maybe flexible dual extrusion might be areas of interest to you. So they're definitely things to keep an eye on. Now if you want to explore some of the resources that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that help me out with 3D printing, I'd really like to share them with you. So the first and best resource that I've undoubtedly used more than anything is the forum system for my particular 3D printer. Now, obviously your 3D printer's forum system is going to be a bit different to mine, but I'll uh, recommend you to forum.lulzbot.com if you wanna have a look at what a good forum system looks like. So I'm just here now. It's actually got a really active community. It's split up into all the different printers and people are always being very vocal on the forums, very active, helping people out with small issues that do pop up here and there. If people are having little tiny issues with say printing circles or printing a certain type of filament, these guys know what they're talking about and they're there to help. So obviously if you're using a different type of printer, go and check out their forum system, but the Lulzbot forum is the one that I love. Also, you can take a look at the strategy for obtaining great prints, which is a really good post that's been put up in the forum system on Lulzbot. Now, I really recommend this to all learners. A lot of the stuff that I learned, I learned directly from this post. It's really long. It's got a bunch of different tips and strategies that you can use to make sure you're getting good prints every time. The next, the next link that I'd sort of recommend you to would be the guys over at All3DP. And what they've done is put together a encyclopedia of 22 common 3D printing problems. And what they've done is added in pictures for each one of the problems so you can see what it looks like, what the problem is, what's causing the problem, and how to troubleshoot it out. So obviously we've gone through this one ourselves in these videos, but if there's anything that we didn't quite cover off on as well as we should have, these guys over at 3DP will have. And I really recommend that you have this thing bookmarked if you're really getting into 3D printing because it's no doubt that you will run into some of these problems. After we finish up with the 3D, the 3DP guys and their troubleshooting article, I'm gonna recommend that you guys get involved. Get involved with the communities on the internet that are all around. For example, Reddit has a great 3D printing community, especially the guys over at Fix My Print. These guys are hobbyists with tons of experience that are just willing to help people out with problems that they're having. So you can see here, a lot of people are printing benchies all the time, but you can go into any of these posts and have a look at, this is what's going wrong, this is what people are recommending, and nine times out of 10, the guy comes back and he says, I tried this out, it didn't work, but I tried this and it did work. So go and become active in those communities, ask questions, get answers, everyone's willing to share their experience with you. And I really recommend that. So that pretty much wraps up everything I think you need to know for a beginner's workshop in 3D printing. And man, have we covered some stuff. If you've got any questions, comments, or something you'd like to learn in the future, please let me know because I really wanna know where the interest is gravitating towards with these 3D printing workshops. So thanks for watching and have a lot of luck in your future prints and don't hesitate to reach out to me on the forums or via email or whatever and just get in touch and I'd love to help you guys out with your 3D prints. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.